God lives and works today. Anyone who has really experienced Jesus' love can testify that there is nothing that can make a person happier. And there is nothing that we need more, especially in our times, for this love is stronger than all the troubles or sorrow that can come upon us. But how can we have such a relationship of love with Jesus? Listen to the answer Basilea Schlink gives in the following message. No words can sufficiently express the amazing privilege of loving Jesus. Love for Jesus is anything but a religious feeling that we can work up in ourselves, an emotion that can all too easily deceive us. On the contrary, love for Jesus is a dynamic power. It is the only thing that is indestructible in today's world which is so full of hatred and destruction. When this fire of love blazes in a person's heart, it is stronger than all the harm men can inflict upon each other. None of us knows what the future holds for us. But one thing we do know. Everything depends upon whether this love for Jesus is burning in our hearts. And what is this love? Jesus recognizes only one kind of love as being true love for him. He calls it first love. First because it takes first place in our hearts and priority over the people and things we hold dear. The love of Jesus does not share the chamber of our heart with any other love. His love is too great, too overwhelming, too precious a gift of grace to be poured into a heart that is already filled with other loves. Why does Jesus so yearn to receive our love? Because he has but one desire, to bestow his riches upon us. However, it is only a loving heart that he can draw near to and endow with his gifts. He does not want us to despair in the face of the present world situation or be ruled by fear and overwhelmed by troubles. No, He longs for our hearts to be filled with love for Him. This love can overcome Satan, death, and the powers of hell. Whoever loves Jesus will experience that every hardship is transformed because Jesus is near us, Jesus who is a source of joy, who calms the wind and the waves, who has been given all power in heaven and on earth. And the way to attain this deep love for Jesus? The first step is to admit our sins whenever God shows them to us or people reprove us. If we admit our guilt and mistakes in everyday life, we open the door for the Spirit of God to pour this love into our hearts. And we must pray, Lord, teach us to love you. You have promised to answer our prayers when we ask in your name and according to your will. At this very moment, Jesus is offering us this love. If only we would open our hearts, stretch out our hands to him and pray, Lord Jesus Christ, grant me this love for you no matter what the cost. You've been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. If this program has been a help to you, we would be happy to send you a free leaflet by the same author. Please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street. Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.